I'm going to show you some code completion techniques that you can use. Uh, the shortcut for code completion is control space. Okay, so when you type control space, it will suggest coding for you. Okay, so I'm going to say control space, and then it will pop up a bunch of information for you here. stuff that you can select okay, while you can use also use templates functions procedures uh, there will be variables that you can use other method is control J will pop up all the templates that you can use different method that you can use is you can you go to view then go to templates then you can easily view the templates that you want to add in your coding okay so i'm gonna go through some of them okay brace comments if you want to add that just double click and it will add comments for you array declaration so you want to declare an array Let's make it globally. I want a variable array. You just double click and it will declare an, a default array for you. You can then rename that array or resize it or change the data type of that array that you want. Uh, another interesting one, case. So you won't put a case in there. So select the position where you want to insert your case statement. Let's make a normal case statement. So just double click. Okay, so it will put in a, a template for your case statement. Then you can make your changes. Any one is a for statement. This one says for loop, no begin and end. Uh, for loop with a begin and end then you can just assign your values there control z to undo the insert if statement no begin and end if statement with a begin and end okay so you can put in an if statement if then else if then else okay check if then okay so can maybe rearrange something like that if this then that else do that Okay, so there's different ones that you can use. A repeat statement. I'll give you the default layout for a repeat statement. A try and accept. Oops. Try and accept. There you go. Not in a correct place, but a while statement a while with a begin and an end okay, so there's a bit of auto completion with templates um, another shortcut that I can think of that we can use is if you have a variable and you want it to declare a variable for you so I wa I'm gonna use inum undeclared at the moment so I'm going to select that variable right click and then I'm going to go to refactoring and I'm going to say declare that variable for me the shortcut for that is con shift control V okay so declare variable the type 
in here you can assign a data type let's say you want it an integer you can also choose where you want to set the value for it I'm going to say yes I want give me a default value of zero and then Delphi will complete the coding to declare that variable as an integer and it will actually assign that zero value to that variable Okay, so if you want to let's make it something like this name double click to select that variable name At the moment it's undeclared right click refactoring declare that variable for me let's make that one a string and I want to give default value should be empty just to single quotation marks and you will Delphi will declare that variable for me as a string and it will set that value to nothing to make it empty okay some code completion techniques control space control J or view templates or you can quickly uh, create your own variables and give them starting values